He is the man at the heart of the biggest leak of private banking data in history. Hervé Falciani now says that he feels vindicated after a seven-year campaign culminated in revelations this week over HSBC and tax evasion. It uh, required seven years of struggle, of battles, to get to the point we are just now. Much of the HSBC controversy hangs on what Britain's tax collectors knew and when. Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs said that it had no record of a 2008 email Mr Falciani said he sent, revealing the HSBC evidence. In Parliament yesterday, the head of HMRC was questioned about whether she knew about the email. Were you offered the data in 2008? Not to my knowledge. Mr Harrow, were you? <coughs> Does anybody on the table today know whether you were offered the data? But tonight, the French newspaper Le Monde published the email. How does it make you feel? <laughs> great. You can uh, ask me many times. And if it would be great, it would be great the same. And uh, it proved that uh, I'm right. He said that HSBC should be prosecuted for its behaviour in 2005 and told the BBC the issue of evasion went far wider in banking. HSBC was dealing, because it is natural, but was dealing with many banks, hundreds of banks. So what is the HSBC case can become tomorrow, tomorrow the case of hundreds of banks. Not everyone is a fan of Hervé Falciani. He's been accused of stealing the data and then demanding money. He denies both. What he does say is that he has paid a huge personal cost for bringing this information into the public domain. What personal cost has that been for you? Tremendous. Uh, personal, uh, of course professional is not even a question to mention and also physical, the risk, the evident risk. But, um, you know, more, more than that, the uh, reputational one also. HSBC says it has reformed, but it is now facing a parliamentary inquiry. One person who would be more than happy to give evidence is Mr Falciani. Kamal Ahmed, BBC News, Paris.